What is up, y'all? This is JT. I've got the skill. Uh, I'm not sure the model number right offhand, but this is the skill DIY table saw, and it's got prosumer type of, you know, different attributes about it. One thing I will say that the miter gauge absolutely sucks. Don't even use it. Don't even bother. It's not accurate. Uh, do anything and everything to do it. Do it a different way. Maybe if you can take your square take your square or another one that you can cut off you know one that you're not afraid to damage and do it that way and just draw your line on your board because that would be more accurate than that miter gauge it is terrible because i tried to do some 45s with it what i'm going to do is build a just a test little drawer and of course i messed up on these edges with me my cove bit little teeny cove bit or actually it might have been a um, pointed bit I'm not sure and what I'm gonna do is build a tiny drawer just for practice because I'm gonna be building a vanity later well I did this trick and this is what the video is really about this is like a four or five dollar blade from Harbor Freight it's a warrior I think Let's see if we can see anything on it it's one of the, it says tungsten carbide, I don't believe that for anything, but it's, it's, uh, I don't know what brand it is, it's the gold ones, it's tin coated, and I just ran it on this, this is plywood, I just ripped plywood, and this is a seven and a quarter, seven and a quarter blade on a 10 inch miter saw. And as you can see, like this piece of crap blade just left almost a perfect cut. So I might just leave this on here for now until I need to start ripping something a little bit bigger. Then I'll need the 10 if I need to uh, go any higher because it's still, even with the seven and a quarter blade, It still goes up. And you gotta take into account. It goes up two and a quarter. Two and a quarter with the seven and a quarter blade. Cause that's just a regular seven and a quarter blade. If it was a ten, it'd come all the way out to here. It's got a three and a half cut capacity with the ten inch, so but this is a cheap blade and it barely cuts anything and it left a fantastically smooth cut i mean this is joint this is joinable it's like a joiner cut which is insane so what i'm going to do is cut this down so i'm going to flip this over i just practiced a little bit on this this is basically just practice i'm just going to cut it down a little bit probably just cut just this uh, routed edge off and then what I'm going to do I don't know if I'm going to film this at all but basically I'm just going to unlock it I'm not even going to measure anything just hold it against the fence until I line it up and knock off the whole entire routed edge just like that, and then we'll go ahead and cut it. And then I don't know how I'm gonna cut the uh, size pieces. I'll probably use a uh, circular saw and a square as a guide because I cannot get a straight cut on the miter gauge. Maybe I can use the fence, but people have been telling me that that's dangerous. I do it sometimes, but that's really up to you. Maybe what I'll do is I'll cut them long, get them close, and just shave a little bit off as they're stacked on top of each other. That way they end up being the same length. And I'm going to pocket join them together. Yeah. Okay, this side didn't cut as clean, but still, that's like a $5 blade. 
Warrior brand blade. I don't even know why I bought it. To be honest with you, the Hercules blade leaves absolutely flawless cuts. But as you can see, now I've got a decent width for a drawer. I might cut it down a little bit more. That that doesn't seem like it's uh, leaving enough. And then obviously for the back side, I'm going to short it just a little bit like that. Short it on this side, so I'll just probably just mark it. Measuring aside, we don't need measuring. Okay, I got all these in their rough dimensions. They're all decently cut. I need a miter saw to do the cross cuts because I'm not getting uh, straight 90s. This saw may be out a little bit because I changed the blade. I had actually uh, zeroed it out on the other blade. But as you can see, this is basically what I'm going to do is just build like that, like that, and like that. So there's going to be like the basis of the drawer. And then usually you're going to do a straight cut, straight bit cut in there, to, depending on what size of uh, material you're using. And that's pretty much what I'm going to do. I'm going to pocket jig these together. Okay, went ahead and uh, put the pocket holes in. And I got to go grab some screws. So those are going to be the sides. I haven't decided whether I want the pocket holes on the inside or the outside. It doesn't really matter. This is just a practice run. And here's the face. And I haven't even sanded this or anything. I might want to clean this up and do um, a bigger groove in it. And also it needs to be sanded. But like I said, this is just practice. So I'm going to put this face frame down. And it's, they're either going to go on the inside, which I believe on a drawer would be better on the outside. So I can do either way. And like I said, my cuts are not perfectly 90, so that's a problem. I think I'm going to go ahead and put the white sides in. So these are going to go this way, like so. And uh, first off, you got to put the back on it. So it'll go like that. Yeah, I think I'm going to do it that way. When doing this part right here, um, having corner clamps would be absolutely awesome. But I do not have any. And I don't really have a way... To clamp anything that direction like a corner so what I'm gonna have to do is try to hold these the best I can by hand as I'm putting these screws in and because I'm on an outside angle and they won't be too hard to get to I can use the shorter one which is a t20 we're gonna put rigid in first gear and I'm gonna set these down on the top of this table try to keep them as flat as possible and try to hold them with my hands because like I said I don't have any corner clamps I've got that clamp but that doesn't do me any good and also they make clamps that go they go into the pocket holes themselves and they hold the workpiece in place but in this type of case that wouldn't do me any good because there's only two holes and really what you need is just a corner clamp so we'll try to get it Okay, so here's like the basic little drawer, and no, it doesn't have the slot for the bottom yet. Um, it's like I said, just a practice piece. So got a little drawer, and we're gonna check for square. And I guarantee it's not gonna be square. Oh my, that side is square. Weird. This side's not, I know it's not, because I wasn't holding it square, and still it's not that bad. 
this side just needed to go in just a hair but like I didn't measure anything I didn't mark anything I just basically held it up there and guessed but like for example if I wanted these really cool knots to be on top because they're they're pretty then uh, what I do is basically just take this back apart all the screw holes are in and ready to go uh, cut the actual size that I need for the bottom of the drawer which would probably be about a quarter inch or so depending on what you use usually like a, a real thin like birch or something like that cut that in take all these apart and then cut that in as well as on the front piece and then cut it according to size and then you can make your final adjustments to make it all square and also glue up all your joints as well this is not glued and I did have a little bit of an issue uh, I set my drill bit just a little too deep and it came through just a hair but that's just a little and obviously it doesn't sit sit straight yeah see it's a little warped and crooked but I mean <laughs> wow that's uh okay I see the joints didn't come together perfect this one's a little off here that one's pretty flush pretty flush this see this one right here is off it needs the this outside needs to go that way here and there's no way to fix that at this point but like i said this is just practice so i made a little teeny drawer but when you're going into cabinet working and stuff like that you're not going to be using these types of saws you're not going to be doing ghetto stuff and not measuring i don't even have a tape measure out here i was just guessing so that's it for that and I don't know, I might do something with this. Who knows? Thanks for watching. Uh, I forget what this video was even about, but I used my Miles Craft. Works wonderful. Pocket screws. Um, the skill table saw with the seven and a quarter blade does really amazing cuts, even though this is literally like a five dollar blade. And uh, yeah, that's my first little drawer. Trust me, it's not going to be the only one. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.